Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today we will take you through the SBP and ABD system installation. Unboxing. Here is the SBP box. In the box, there is a mounting plate, an accessory box and the inverter. Here are the items in accessory box. Introduction of the inverter. The height of SBP is 35.4 inch. Width is 19.1 inch and the depth is 7.5 inch. Here are the labels of the inverter. There are four indicators and one reset button. There are five wire routing holes on the inverter bottom. Here are the major tools recommended for the installation of SBP. Step 1. Installation of inverter. Put the mounting template on the wall horizontally and mark positions for drilling holes. Our metal shelf doesn't need drill holes. Secure the mounting plate to the wall with appropriate fasteners. Then install the inverter on the mounting plate. Install the safety screw to secure the inverter to the mounting plate. Secure the lower attachment point with two screws. Step 2. Opening the wiring cover. Remove the four screws of the wiring compartment cover. Then opening the wiring cover. Step 3. Connecting the battery cable. Place a wire ferrule over each conductor, and then crimp it. Make sure the whole cable is inserted into the terminal. Remove the waterproof cover using the included cap removal tool. Connect EMT or other conduit to the raceway hole. Pull out the wires. Make sure negative and positive cables connect to the right battery ports, just like what I am doing. Insert the equipment ground into a grounding bus bar terminal. First, connect the EMT conduit to the conduit port on PCU box. Thread the cables through the conduit. Then connect the power cables to battery positive and battery negative. And don't forget to screw the PE cable. Step 4. Connecting the AC cable. Connect EMT conduit to the conduit port. Then pull out the wires. Connect the AC cables to the corresponding connection port, L1, L2, and neutral. Loosen the grounding terminal. Inserting the PE cable into this connection port. And then, fasten it. Step 5. Connecting the BMS cable. First connect EMT conduit to the conduit port. Insert the RS-485 cables into the terminals one by one. Insert this terminal into the communication port of the inverter side. Then, crimp the other end of the RS-485 cable to the registered jack, and insert it into COM1. Step 6. ABD installation. Secure the mounting bracket using the appropriate fasteners. Install the device on the mounting plate. Tighten the safety screw to secure the device in the mounting plate. Step 7. Opening the cabinet door. Unlock the cabinet door and remove the six screws. Then remove the insulation board. Step 8. Connecting the AC conductors. Crimp the neutral wire with the OT terminal. Insert the desired conduit and corresponding adapters, fittings, and bushings. Insert the conductors into the inverter breaker, and tighten terminal set screws. Neutral and ground wires should also be tightened. Strip the conductor wiring. Insert the conductors into the main breaker and tighten the screws. Using the same procedure, then insert the conductors on the load side and tighten the screws. Step 9. Connecting the communication cable. Using RJ45 network cable to connect the inverter and ABD. Insert it into the RJ45 port. Step 10. Closing the cabinet door. After all installation, don't forget tightening the six screws to fix the insulation board and you can lock up the device using the cabinet key. Finally, installing the antenna. And, install the wiring cover after all connection. Please install the inverter according to local safety regulations, such as adding junction box or metal conduit. That's all for the SBP inverter and ABD system installation instruction. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe training series, Please visit our Goodwee community and stay tuned to our official account.